Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, and here we are on the final few days of the beta for Modern Warfare 2. If you guys don't know, really quickly, it is an open beta. All you have to do is download it now, no pre-order is required, and there's no exclusivity. So whether you're on PlayStation, Xbox, PC, doesn't matter. If you haven't played the game yet and you're curious as to what everyone's getting so frustrated with, you can download the game and play it. The beta does end tomorrow on September 26th, however. I think the beta itself is going to go down in history as one of the most divisive betas in Call of Duty history. I mean, you look back at games like Black Ops 4, like sure, the SMGs were like really busted, but whatever, like beta feedback wasn't that crazy. Modern Warfare 2019, I do remember there was lots of feedback because that's when I first started trying to change things around. And then Cold War, they kind of went back to how things used to be in the COD franchise, then Vanguard was Vanguard. And now we have this game and people are like, all right, Infinity Ward, enough. Like, will you just please listen to the community? And we've talked so much recently about how it seems like there must be a silent majority out there, I guess, and we're just the vocal minority that just makes up a small fraction of the player base. But look, man, you look at all the comments on my videos. Look at the comments on Exclusive Aces videos. Look at J-God's videos. Look at Drifter's videos. Look at Blame Truth. Look at Thunder. Look at anyone, man. The feedback online, it's not even just like specific to one particular channel. I would say, maybe I'm projecting here a little bit, but I would say maybe the comments on a video like mine are a bit more negative towards the changes Infinity Ward are making because those are the kind of videos I make. But then again, if you look at someone else who's a lot more positive and a lot more like streamlined and whatever, the comments are the same on their videos as well. Like it seems like everywhere online, whether it's on YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, Reddit, anywhere, dude, the feedback is loud and clear. Infinity Ward, you're done fucking up is what you're doing. And here in this video today, I want to show some of these ridiculous things that they're doing. So they're doubling down on dead silence, right? You guys all know this. The footsteps are ridiculously loud. In fact, check out this clip here from Cultural Feedback 115. This is insane. Dude heard him all the way across, like, through the entire building and then just murders him, right? You get punished for moving here in this game. But they're doubling down on the idea of dead silence being a field upgrade because in their own words, it makes the game more dynamic. It, it allows rushers to actually rush without being heard. But at the same time, it makes it so they can't just aimlessly rush around with no consequence. Well, I didn't know this, but it's come to my attention. We have a couple of clips here. You basically, like when you go to activate your dead silence field upgrade that you have to wait for, right? And you're like, finally, I can run around the map. You basically just yell out to the entire lobby. Hey, I'm activating dead silence. Here I come. Check this clip out, dude. This is ridiculous. What? This guy have dead silence? The fuck was that? Oh, he did have dead silence. So that came in from Super Comic Gravy, great name. We have another clip coming in from Real Mathematician 363. Same idea. So Infinity Ward, I would love to know how you're possibly going to defend this as a proper design decision, dude. Makes literally no sense. If you just want to come out and say, you know what, we want to make this game for the most brain dead people imaginable, just say so. Just say so, man. Like, it, it, that's what you're doing right now. It's getting ridiculous. It's ridiculously frustrating. And you guys remember, like, those Intel drops? Remember every time they were like, oh, new Intel drop, we're changing up the gunsmith, we're changing up the perk system, this, that, and the other thing. Well, shit. Shadows on Reddit, Shadows199, made a fantastic new Intel drop because back during Call of Duty Next, Infinity Ward themselves say they don't like saying rushers and campers and things like that. They have their own like internal names for that kind of thing, right? There's like rusher and a camper is a sentinel. <laughs> it's the fact that they came up with that term means they're so out of date and the people like to flank those are the stalkers It's like oh my god guys You're embarrassing yourselves at this point, but check out shadows new Intel drop about how they like to cater to Sentinels as compared to rushers. Uh, we call them rushers, which are just aggressive players They just want to find the action and go and then we have Sentinels um, And these are defensive players. They want to just kind of hold down a building. Maybe we'll keep a little overwatch um, and then we have um, stalkers 
which are reactive, and they kind of hang back and try to read the field and read where um, spawns are. How we punish rushers and reward sentinels in modern warfare too. First, Got you covered. we made footsteps sound very loud. We believe that sentinels should hunt down enemy footsteps while they're relaxing in their safe space. We removed enemy nameplates. We believe that rushers should not spot sentinels while they're in the prone position and hunting down enemies. We removed ninja perk. We believe it is important to game health that rushers are not able to move at high speeds without consequence. Dead silence as a field upgrade creates a balance between freedom of movement and predictability of combat. Last but not least, currently in the MW2 beta, we only show enemy player dots when a UAV is active. The design reason for this is that we do not want to punish players for firing their weapons. Honestly, Shadows, that was incredible. Like, you have, you have a future as a YouTuber, man. That's like way better than anything I could have made. Also, love the fact that one of my clips was in that video. But yeah, this is like, this goes back to that idea. It's like the community versus Infinity Ward. Infinity Ward is so stubborn. They're like, you know what? Am I out of touch? No, it's the children who are wrong. Like, everybody seems to be on board that the changes they've made are not good changes. Everybody seems to be on board that Infinity Ward needs to revert these things. They need to redo the perk system. They need to change up a lot of the map layouts for 6v6. Dead Silence needs to be a perk. Footsteps need to be quieter. The Chopper Gunner, this clip coming in here from a guy with numbers in his name, I suppose. The Chopper Chopper Gunner doesn't even move! Is it too scary for, for, for little Timmy No Thumbs if the Chopper Gunner can actually get kills? It, it might be, just be a beta bug, I don't know, but like, the Chopper Gunner doesn't move for crying out loud? I don't even know. I don't even bother trying to go for high kill streaks in the beta, man. You see every one of my clips, it's like UAV, Care Package, Predator Missile, man. I, I cannot be asked to try to get high kill streaks in this game because if I, it's frustrating enough to play. Imagine trying to play and then getting frustrated because you die to some guy who can hear you across the freaking map one off of your chopper gunner or something like that even when you do get your chopper gunner you realize it doesn't even move infinity ward i beg of you this is going to be a two-year game and i called this before and i called it saying i don't want it to happen but i called it anyway this is gonna be a two-year game and i have a feeling like at the end of year one they're finally gonna make changes to make the game feel good but by that point everyone's gonna be burned out on the game man they're gonna be doing something else which maybe they're playing all along they're just gonna try and force us all into warzone 2 so we can go buy microtransactions or warzone mobile for crying out loud they're gonna be pushing that pretty damn hard how about we focus on normal cod multiplayer for the first time in a long time they're actually making innovations they're trying out different things they're revamping the perk system they're revamping the gunsmith like they are actually trying new things and I applaud them for that but when it comes to removing core staples of the COD franchise things that make your day-to-day -day gameplay experience worse then you're fucking up right if you think about it, like right down to your gunfights right and they did make the gunfights a little bit better by adding more visibility but it still could be improved upon for sure recoil could be improved upon when it comes to moving around the map that needs to be improved upon the mini map itself that needs to be improved upon the kill streaks need to be improved upon like the actual core gameplay of Modern Warfare 2 across the board needs to be worked on and Infinity Ward hasn't said shit and even if they do say shit the game comes out in a month what are they supposed to do rebuild the entire game in a month they can't even get their UI to work like check out this clip right here man like as you're going through my voice is starting to crack when you get when you go through the new weapon progression and stuff like that the buttons just don't make sense it's as if they have no idea what they're doing I saw a thing from Charlie Intel saying that a bunch of these different like UI and UX people from Hulu were hired by Activision and it makes sense because the game looks more like a streaming service than it does a video game how do you take a perfect UI like the original Modern Warfare 2 had over a decade ago and then just shit on it like how is this so hard I don't understand just I understand that there are some people out there that if you don't make enough changes, they're going to complain. Oh, but it's just the same game. It's Modern Warfare 2019.5. Well, if you're listening to their feedback, listen to ours too. Like, like what the hell? Like, bring back Dead Silence. Fix the minimap. Fix the chopper gunner. Make it so if you do activate Dead Silence, you don't just scream it out to the entire lobby. Dude, I am just... <laughs>
<laughs> it's Infinity Ward versus the community. They think they know better. And they're the kind of people that sit in their offices. You ever see at South Park where the people get uh, they get real smug because they drive like a Prius and stuff like that. And they're like sitting there with their wine glasses, sniffing their own farts. I think that's what Infinity Ward is. I think they're literally sitting there like, hmm, yes, the Sentinels are very happy this year. The Rushers, not so much, but they'll come around. <sighs> like I, I, that's what I honestly picture over there because I've never seen a game so divisive I've never seen subreddits so divisive I've never seen a situation where it seems like and dude I read feedback all over the internet I'm not just like I'm not just like in an echo chamber of my own comment section like I'm I'm, I'm, I'm everywhere it's what I do I'm a COD content creator it's my job to be and the feedback screaming down from the rooftops is Infinity Ward wake up and Infinity Ward is like Oh, they'll get used to it. Uh, yes, Bobby Kotek, thank you for the check. It's, I hate it. I absolutely detest it. But ladies and gentlemen, that's it for this little, I, I guess it was more of a rant than anything, but honestly, what it was, was, you know, there's no brand new news that came out today or anything like that. We have the rest of today for the beta. We have some a uh, bit tomorrow for the beta, and that's going to be basically it, right? That's going to be the end of it. And so I encourage you, if you guys do have the beta and you do think the game has potential, try to get to level 30, get all the beta exclusive content, things like that. But, you know, I was playing the beta and I decided just to scroll through the Modern Warfare 2 subreddit. I found some hilarious clips I wanted to share with you guys in the video and that's what we did here today so i hope you guys all enjoyed it leave your thoughts and feedback down there in the comments be sure to subscribe if you're new around here and stay tuned for tomorrow's video because again we do daily videos here in the channel and it's always a pleasure to just read through and comment with you guys and just try to get this game fixed as much as we can but then again who are we just random dudes on the internet it's it's apparently the silent majority that no one hears from that are getting everything catered to them i just i don't understand infinity ward you're fucking up. You're fucking up bad. But once again, guys, thank you so much for listening, and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.